First Lady Michelle Obama stopped at Upper Dublin High School in Montgomery County on Thursday to rally grassroots support for her husband's re-election bid. Roughly 1,700 people gathered in the gym to hear the president's wife encourage an it-takes-one effort in a county and a state that has proved pivotal in being strong for Democrats. If you haven't noticed, I'm a little fired up. That one neighbor that you get to the polls on November the 6th, I want you to think to yourself, that could be the one that makes the difference in this election. He needs to send her out as much as he can. She's, she's his best advocate. She was so elegant, so well-spoken, so passionate. I was empowered and inspired by being here because she laid it out like only she could as a first lady. It's like Barack has always said, it just takes one voice to change a room. And if a voice can change a room, it, it can change a city. And if it can change a city, it can change a state. And if it can change a state, it can change a nation. That is the power of one. I can relate to Barack Obama. Barack was raised by a single, single mother and didn't know his dad. And that's a background that, a similar background to where I come from. I want to give my daughters and all of our sons and daughters a foundation for their dreams. We know what we need to do. We can't turn back now. We need to keep moving forward. We need to keep moving this country forward. Now the GOP challenger Mitt Romney accused the president of declaring war on religion in a new ad Thursday, saying that his health care plans force people to go against their face. Mrs. Obama, however, touted her husband's health care plans, although she also jokingly admitted that she's biased. Reporting from Upper Dublin, for Philly Birds, I'm Rachel Kennelly.